<laughs> and I also brought my boys, half of my squad with me. You know, I have my Elite Eight from Vivica's Black Magic. But in the house with me today, I've got from L.A. Penetration, Andrew. Whoa. Yes, got to start off with that name. Yes, yes, yes. Um, from the Bronx, we got Jonathan, also known as Heat. Back there from Phoenix, Arizona, we got Steven in the house. And from Baltimore, white chocolate. White with, chocolate. With excellent numbers. I mean, we were like top five trending. The response that we've gotten, I mean, we just got so much love. Like, I could barely sleep. We had a party here in New York. And I could barely sleep because my phone just kept going off. Everybody said, girl, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, V. That's what I'm talking about, V. Now on Wednesday, oh, this must see TV. So I really feel blessed because we worked very hard. We filmed the show in Los Angeles over three months, and this was my brainchild. Uh, I had been in the film Chocolate City, directed by Jean-Claude Lemaire. Oh, okay. I played the mom. Okay. Believe it or not, okay. so the mama <laughs> then came up with the reality <laughs> show and the tour, right? That was you. <laughs> yes, it was. And he said, how about you pitch it with me? And so we went to prop Propagate um, Productions, and Howard Owens, that day he happened to be meeting someone from Lifetime. And he said, will you mind sticking around okay. and pitching it? They bought it eight shows a year later. Here we are. Was it hard finding guys? I mean, I know guys are all over the place, but everybody's not qualified to I actually... Show. Absolutely agree with you. I mean, it was difficult. We had hundreds of guys show up from all across America. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, we had some interesting gentlemen show up. Okay. That were from ballet to tap to modern to just straight out. I don't know what the hell they was doing nasty dances. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. What about the guy that went under the desk? Yes, him, Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel. Like, I was what like, was Gabriel, you trying to share your DNA today. Oh, Come on now, it's an audition. <laughs> Did he right. get in or no? No. Okay. <laughs> No. I guess he was too much. No. I guess. Yeah. No, we all kind of like pureled after he left. Yeah. We were just like, Ooh. Yeah. Plus the but, tongue thing. But the, yes, weird. the tongue thing was just a little bit too much. You got to know an audition when you're going too far. Yeah. You know, it's that's like pull back. You know? So, what made you give the idea? I, mean, I know you did yes. something before, but you said, hey, I'm going to actually go forward with it, put my own money up. Because you said you put your own money I did. up. My name, my reputation, and my contacts. Um, is because right now strippers are winning. Let's just keep it real. Everybody want to make it rain up in here, you know? Even uh, women. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Girls are, at, at our shows, they do, girl. They be like, breaking it, breaking it. See, they all love that. Now, how do you keep girlfriends, just the guys, how do you keep girlfriends do, being strippers? Just curious. So you just, you know, you're just... Be honest, okay. Yeah, it's your job. It's kind of like me as an actress. Like sometimes when I go to work that day, I have to have a love scene. Okay. Or, you know, or pretend that someone's my husband. <laughs> or get naked. Or get naked. Do you guys get naked often? Not yeah. in the show. Like, no, not in the show, show maybe? Not. No, no, no. Absolutely not. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, not on Lifetime. Not We're on, not doing that. Oh, not on Lifetime. No, we, always, okay. we keep it classy. We okay. do our best to keep okay. it classy. We, our goal was to... Um, to do the ultimate girls night out okay and i just felt that there was diversity missing you've got chippendales thunder from down under and they always got that one little token brother over there thunder from down under they're australian so they ain't really they really ain't got no brothers. that's true but they're nice people because they actually have some do nice teeth a cameo oh, yes that's why his name is look that's why his name is char okay always smiling and you know what can i tell you he was the hardest one to be mad at because even when you're yelling like, at him he's just like it's like his teeth like whoa grinding hey. yes so <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, um, they, the Thunder from Down Under, they came on the show and they taught us a lot about really having a show in Las Vegas. I had no idea those guys do 13 shows a week. Yes. They are booked internationally and domestically mm -hmm. year round. Yes. So, business They're is busy. good. Yes. Business is good. And it's packed all yes, the time and you can't even get time. in. So, like I said, I noticed that when you saw, when you, Magic Mike, mm -hmm. uh, Chippendales, they just didn't have anything for sisters. Or, you know, if you wanted to see something different. So, yes, you have different. I bring you and that, something different. And they're sexy. Yes, I brought you some <laughs> chocolate, some caramel, some dark chocolate, some vanilla even white chocolate, chocolate. Yeah. some white chocolate. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, you know, and then. It's, it's also, it's like, you know, with how crazy our world is right now, that we just need to have some A release. Fun. The ultimate goal is for us to get a residency in Las Vegas and then to go on tour worldwide, domestically, because we get requests from women on, what, Twitter, on all these guys. They're like, bring it to South Carolina, girl, come on, girl, we ready to make it rain, come on. It's a lot of work in Vegas. I mean, oh, people I come know. from all over the world to go to Vegas. Absolutely. And it'll be sold out every day. Yeah. And, and have you ever went to Vegas and it's not crowded? No. Never. 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 It's always crowded yeah, it's in Vegas. It's always crowded in Vegas. <laughs> so we need to go get some of that pie. Yes. Mm -hmm. Such a such a blessings for me. I've been literally working nonstop, and it just seems like all the blessings that you know, all the seeds that I planted, are just 
finally coming into fruition. Yes. Um, you know, my hair collection is doing great. My clothing line, Vivica Fox by Poetic Justice, is doing good. I just signed a book deal with St. Martin Press. I'm about Congratulations. To, thank you. About Congratulations. To become an author. I just produced yes. a Christmas film, Husband for Christmas. I just got back from South Africa where I played the cheer goddess in Bring It On Six International. So, mommy's working. <laughs> <laughs> so, girls, every Wednesday, if y'all want to see more, Lifetime. Vivica's Black Magic, 10 o'clock. Lifetime. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Mwah, I love y'all. Bye. Bye, babies.